Well, the battery ran out. And then when I have to wait for seven hours, so for a laugh, I tried this bat this <laughs> PP3 9 volt battery and a, a cheap one at like that. Well, first of all, the Sabertooth was just flashing error all the time because it thought the battery was flat because it was expecting 12 volts or 11.1. Anyway, but to my surprise, it actually turns on. And can just about move forward. However, it's not enough to turn. <laughs> hmm. Let's try a different carpet, actually, or a different floor, I should say. Not on a carpet. No. I do actually have another one of them there, so maybe if I wire them in parallel it'll be strong enough. Oh, I doubt it. This is brand new by the way, right out of the packaging. Just for a laugh, let's see what pathetically small amount of current this battery is actually being able to supply. I know that when all four motors are fully stalled, that's not when rotating, but actually fully stalled, they take uh, five points on the amps if I remember rightly. Possibly spiking at eight when it first starts because of the, uh, well, just because of the saber tooth mode speed controller. Anyway, let's see what's actually managing. This doesn't look like it's going to fail. Slash socket. Here comes the rotation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can see the motor speaking controller was cutting out after it peaked at about 1.5 amps. And frankly, I'm surprised this cheap thing didn't even supply that. Then try and wire two in parallel now. There we go, two batteries in parallel. Now let's see if we can turn. Okay, I'm going to try and measure the amps. Not quite. Maybe on the kitchen floor then. <laughs> yes. That's a new thing by the way, it scans just uh, before it gives a boost for the first time to see if it's even worth giving a boost. If there's something right in front for example then it would just turn away straight away after having wasted time steering to the right position. Big trouble keeps cutting out. <laughs> there.
Oh, I'm going to the top back on. I'm really surprised those batteries are already reaching the end of their usable life for her. Uh, uh -huh. Well, that's probably more grippy, right now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Harry keeps smashing. On the, the red one. Wow, they are quite warm. <laughs> right, as you know, these were brand new batteries. Let's see how much is left. It is... yes, it's already dropped quite a bit below 90 volts. That's slightly ridiculous.